Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, your brow expert. Thank you so much for joining me. So today's going to be just a quick video on this model that has very round eyebrows and thin, and it's just going to turn a little bit more curved, not as round, and just a tiny bit thicker. So if this is the, uh, the brow video lesson that is for you, you need to stick around and get this tip. If you know someone that can also benefit from this type of eyebrow video, you need to send that to them as well. So I often I use, will always use myself as a model so that way you can see me holding the, the tools so that way you can learn how to do that yourself. I will, you be, I'll be using my left eyebrow because I typically use my right one. But anyway, so it might look a little different for you. For those of you that have been sticking around and uh, been with me from the beginning. And for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. You are going to know that my brows have been tattooed a long time ago. So it's been microbladed, tattooed, and it's also faded, as you can see right here. <laughs> it's faded, but it's great for me because I didn't have much hair uh, to begin with. And so, and as we age, ladies, we lose brow hair, right? <laughs> so this was my way of having some sort of structure, which is why brows are so important, right? <laughs> So I put concealer over my eyebrows to try to make it look a little bit like the model, which is why the colors are always going to be a little different for me. But again, I just want you to see me holding the tools, but I mainly want you to see the uh, lesson on the model. So again, pass this along if you know that they can benefit from this tip. And definitely subscribe if you are not yet. And I will try to put all the products in the descriptions below. I will try to remember... <laughs> If I do forget, definitely email 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 me, send me a message on JK at Jasmine's Arch and say, hey, you forgot to mention your lipstick or whatever. And yeah, because I get asked a lot from you guys, what, what are you wearing? So I will try to remember to do that and tag all the products as well. So all the business is out of the way. <laughs> so like I said, the model is going to be some someone that I believe that you can relate with or you know someone. So without further ado, let's bring on the model. So I typically work on my right side, but you're going to see me using my left brow on this video, on this lesson. So you're going to notice right here that the front of this model's eyebrow right up here, it really is very low, really, <laughs> just very low. And just showing you this little mark, um, what I'm going to do is make a mark. I can't even speak right now. I'm going to make a mark right at the pinch of the nose. That is her arch. That is your arch. That is everybody's arch, really. So by making this little line, you're going to see how curved it is, right? And it's really looking more round because the front of the eyebrow is very low. So it just creates that more circular look. So in just a second, I'm going to show you um, how it should be uh, lifted a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to show you the angle that I want you to place. Now, this is the re the one of the reasons why I'm showing you before I shape her eyebrows is if you are, um, if, if you're not able to get to a brow expert like myself, or you, you're, you're, um, not confident to tweeze the front of the eyebrow or lift that up, just fill in that little pocket. Try that out. Like this little, um, outline that I'm showing you right now. Fill that inside and see if you like it. See if it's for you and see if it's fuller just the way you like it. So now I'm going to wax the brows in just a second, but you're not going to see that. But what you will see is the brows lifted a tiny bit up in the front and it actually is going to make a big difference. You're going to see in just a second. So what I want you to do is look at the model front of the eyebrows Again, how low it is. And so she's got quite a bit of hair in that front area. Now look at this once it's shaped. So do you see the before and after? And if you miss that, you may want to move move it a little back and check it out. Check out the difference where it's subtle. So here I'm going to use a highlighter. And notice that mark right there. I, I left that there for her, but I'll make one for myself. I'm using a highlighter underneath the eyebrows because sometimes when you have that pocket in that area where there's no hair, the highlighter actually helps create that light stencil. So it makes it even that much easier. Now I'm using the help of that front eyebrow because I waxed that a little bit, but you can tweeze a tiny bit underneath the bottom if you feel confident. But if you don't, just place a little highlighter underneath the front and then move your way towards here. Now, because of my concealer, it's going to look a little off. So I'm going to go ahead and um, 
put a little bit of powder and that angle, uh, I'm, the angle brush that is, I'm using the light side of that dual powder. The dual powders have that light and dark. So I'm just using the light side, like I said. So let's make that mark, pinch of the nose over the pupil right here. I am gonna just leave that mark right there. Okay, so now here's an important part that I want you to see. It's it's going up a little bit higher because we all have the hair above where it grows straight down. You never wanna forget filling that area in. That's actually very important because it makes the brows look a little fuller. So you always wanna place a little color up here. And you're gonna notice if you haven't done that already, how much uh, fuller and thicker the brows can look without looking over exaggerated because you're still going over the hair. It's just the root of the hair growing straight down. So you wanna place that right there. And then that outline I'm gonna do right here. I'm just gonna go real quickly, but you get the idea, right? Because it's that light powder and then I'm just lightly filling it in. So you're probably thinking, why is she going light? Because you could still see that gap, that light underneath. Because you want something that's gonna last all day, I'm gonna use a brow pen. <laughs> so the brow pen will last much longer than the, um, the powder, especially if you're on the drier side. So you notice that you don't have to get fancy with the brow pen because it can get a little intimidating. So I'm actually just using the tip of the brow pen and just filling in that little pocket, as you can see right there. It doesn't have to be fancy, like I said. You can place it any other area of the eyebrow, but it's mainly gonna go in that little pocket there. So, and you're gonna, um, I don't know if you can notice this, but it's actually with very light pressure. I always tell people to just test it on your hand first to see how uh, wobbly it can get. And so you can start learning the control of the brow pen. So this is what's gonna, I guarantee you, that's gonna stay on, especially if you're oily, much longer than if you were just putting the powder on and that's it, okay? Especially when you, again, don't have hair in there because then sometimes the hair will allow the color to last longer with powder. Now, grab the tissue, very important, because it can get a little wet in there. So. Uh, again, I'm just gonna use a very dark pen. I'm using a granite pen. On her, I'm using a medium brown. So if you're wondering about all this, all the products will be down in the descriptions below. So you're not gonna miss any of the products. And I will be tagging them for those of you that wanna just purchase that right now. <laughs> okay, so you notice I'm just tapping and I'm using a dark color so that way you can see. And you can just tap. Press very lightly, so tap maybe, um, just to get that kind of wetness out of the way. And, and I'm just laying the pen, and I say don't get too fancy because it can get tricky. It's not about trying to put hair strokes in there, it's really about getting some color inside there and so that it will just last all day. So I am gonna just mainly focus on that area. And I want you to as well, because it's, it's, it's about getting it something simple without having it to be too complicated. Now, I went back with the powder because sometimes the pen can get, even though you get the moisture out, it can get a little dark. We don't have, you don't want to put something too light because then it'll just, you won't see it, right? So if you put powder on top of it, I'm just going to exaggerate my shape a little bit because... I'm just a little bit of a perfectionist that way. But because I put some concealer over my eyebrows, it's looking a little weird to me. But the powder, if you pat, pat some of that over the pen, it actually just tones down the, the the because the pen has a different texture, of course. Powder's powder. It has more of an ashier uh, finish, right? So it can be something that's a little bit more uh, natural. I'm going a little higher here because... I did that little swoop. That's something you might want to do if you're, the front of the eyebrow is too curved for you. So the brush is everything, right? Because I this, you just place right underneath to fix anything that you need to. Even that little mark up there. But it can get messy. It really can. Which is why it's also a good idea to have something like this and just reapply. Because it's the first thing I did, remember? So you can always use that to reapply and then you can just, you know, use that brush again to clean up any of the edges. The clear brow gel is really important because as you can see right here, 
because she had that hair up in the front. That gel is really showing off the hair. I'm all about showing off the hair more than just that color. You don't want the color to dominate the eyebrows, especially if you have some, right? So you just want a tiny bit and just comb it right up in the front or wherever you have hair. But you want to, you don't want to comb it up straight up. You want it more in an, in an angle like you see on this model. So I really believe that if you just do a tiny bit, little goes a long way, right? So if you have that really round eyebrow, and you want that little pocket down below to be filled in, that's really the best thing I have for you, the tip. And once you're done, you're not always done done. <laughs> well, at least I'm not sometimes. I will go back and see if I've missed anything. And at this point, I could even go a little higher here. I could go a little lower here. And I would even go back with the pen if I feel like there's a couple of gaps missing. I'll look at it. You guys can really see my right brow now, right? It, it has no uh, makeup. A little bit of that tattoo, by the way. Okay, so just a tiny bit. Now, I, like I said, I get a little bit of a perfectionist, but <laughs> just quickly, I will hopefully remember to tag the before and after pros and cons of brow tattooing if you're interested. It's microblading, just a street term to say it's hair strokes, but it's really tattoo, more like temporary, but you'll always have a little bit of residue, so keep that in mind. So, Again, just go back, make sure you have a brush like this to clean up anything that you feel is a little messy. And it just gives you more of a polished professional look, no matter if you're a beginner or intermediate or in advance. So look at this, beautiful, right? I mean, the before and after is really, really nice because that little pocket down below just makes all the difference in the world. And again, you don't need to raise the front if you're not comfortable doing that. Just place that highlighter underneath and fill in that lower middle pocket and see if that is for you. And so it, it might be, it's still going to be curved. I always say the word curved because I love a curved brow. For me, it needs to be straighter because I'm Asian, obviously, so my eyelids are wider, flat. I don't have like that three-dimensional uh, brow bone look, so it's better for me to be straighter. But for most of you that, are, that doesn't have my eyelid, you want it more curved. Now, the round look can work um, maybe back in the, I don't know, 50s, Lucia Ball era, but um, this just is more modern. Okay, so try this out and I think it'll work for you. I know it will if you haven't tried it. So, and make sure you let me know if you have tried it because it really does make such a big difference for the overall face. So I hope you got some tips out of this round brow to be a little curved. <laughs> and let me know if you did uh, feel like you learned something today. And it always helps me to get better with my videos. It helps me to know what all of you guys are looking for. Now, if you feel like you didn't relate with this brow, definitely look at some of my older videos because I do try to touch on all different types of brow issues, if you if you can say that. But I also just want you to just elevate and, and make your brows fuller, better, and full, not just because it's the look, but fuller for you. So just keep that in mind too. I don't think everybody should be just running around with big wide eyebrows. It's gotta fit your face, which is why measuring eyebrows is also very important. So let me know if you've tried this, let me know if you've shared this with someone, cause that also helps. Cause I think we all know someone with a round eyebrow that wants to learn how to get them a little fuller. So this is also a perfect uh, video for them as well. And give me a like if you like this video, cause that helps me. All the products that I've used will be in the uh, descriptions below. And definitely subscribe because, again, that helps me to know that I'm doing the right thing. It helps me to just continue to create this content. Some of you have asked about, well, you know, I have this brow. Can you do this brow? I have this brow issue. I try to use as many clients or people that I, that I come across as I can, but I don't get to... I don't really see that many uh, clients that have no eyebrows, <laughs> but there are a few occasions and I do touch on this one client where she is going through or she finished chemotherapy and so she's just now getting some hair back. So it's pretty, pretty 
pretty new when when it comes to having no eyebrows it's like me starting on a blank canvas almost so you can check that video out as well thank you and i will see you guys right back here